Last time on Mega Man 6, Mega Man and Wily had their greatest battle yet. I'm gonna get you, you Muppet bastard! No, you won't! Wily was defeated and finally sent to jail. See, I got you. Yeah, you did. And the world experienced a brief period of peace. However, six months after the events of Mega Man 6, four robots prepared by Dr. Willy for this very occasion finally awoke from their slumber, attacking the city in search of their master. Wait, why are you looking over here? No, stop! Wait, no! Ah! Mega Man 7, baby! This game is everything you could ever want in a classic Mega Man game. Tight platforming, unique boss weapons, and tons of secrets and collectibles all wrapped up in a beautiful 16-bit package. Man, that's a lot of pixels. Not that I feel inadequate or anything. I mean, pixel count isn't that important, right? This game looks and feels incredible to play, which is crazy considering it only took Capcom three months to make. I mean, from what I can tell, that's half the development time of Mega Man 3, and that game's a total bug fest. Look at this bug. Now look at this one. And this one. We can tell this is way different from the Mega Man 3 situation. By now, they've had nearly a dozen classic titles and two X titles to practice the Mega Man formula. Speaking of X, Mega Man 7 isn't even the first 16-bit game in the series, so it's no wonder the sprites in this game look so damn good. But anyway, enough about why this game is so great, it's time to show you how this game is so great. By playing it. We're gonna... We're gonna play through the game now. Starting with the intro stage, something they borrowed from the success of the X series. Teaching you the mechanics of the game, unraveling the story, and introducing one of the most beloved characters in the series history, Otto. Can't you go any faster, Otto? Cool it, Roll. You sound like my ex-wife. <laughs> it's crazy we live in 20XX, but the government still hasn't figured out how to fill the potholes in these roads. <laughs> This isn't the government's doing, Otto. It's Dr. Wily. But that's okay. Mega Man will stop him. Right, Mega Man? I might actually kill him this time. Uh... Whoa, you really sound like my ex-wife. <laughs> <sighs> I should call her. Uh... Oh no, Dr. Light. Are you hurt? What? No, I was just teaching Rush how to use his new search function. It's a feature I just know you'll love, Mega Man. Oh, hey, what's that over there? Hey, Dr. Light. Oh, hey, Dr. Wowie. I hate you, Mega Man. Screw you, Wily. We chase after him, find some Mets. <gasps> no, the Mets! Kill this road roller dog. Oh, and this guy's here, too. Whoa, who the heck are you? I'm a super fighting robot just like you. I want to help you defeat Dr. Wily. I've even got a cool robot dog, too. His name's Treble, and I'm Bass. Wow, awesome. But I think it's pronounced Bass. What? Well, I mean, you're supposed to be a fish robot master, right? That's why you got those fins on your head? No, I... Bass, like the fish. <laughs> I get it. That's really kick-ass. Now, usually Robot Masters put man at the end of their name, too, but I like what you've got so far. That's not... Keep workshopping it, Bass. I've got to go stop Wily. I'll let you know if I need help in any of the water levels along the way. Dr. Wily was right. This guy's an asshole! And then we make it to the stage select. But what's this? Only four robot masters? That's a little Game Boy moment. There's a password you can put in to make all eight robot masters available from the start, but it doesn't work in the Legacy Collection. So I guess we're playing it like Capcom intended. Cloudman's stage is kind of the perfect win stage. It's like an updated Airman stage with a Gyroman paint job and cool weather effects thrown in. It's got some neat hidden platforms and a hidden path, and a hidden hidden path to get a you. There's also a hidden, hidden, hidden path to go talk to your brother. Hey, Mega Man, I have some super secret information you need to know. Listen, Proto Man, you really haven't been all that helpful recently. This is really important, I promise. Okay, let me hear it. I need you to burn down a forest. Hey, where are you going? Cloud Man himself is a really cool fight. All the Robot Masters in 7 have way more attack patterns than the previous classic games. He can shoot lightning, make it rain, fly at you back and forth. You remember what Air Man did? He blew you over and over. He just can't stop blowing everyone in his path. But yeah, we beat Cloud Man. This game's weapon get cutscenes are a little funny. Instead of showing off the weapon, Mega Man and Dr. Light just talk about it. The conversation also kind of plays out backwards, like Mega Man is trying to tell Dr. Light how all the weapons work. The Thunderbolt fires out electrically charged spheres, right? Well, aren't you a big know-it-all? We should just call you Dr. Mega Man since you know everything about the special weapons. No, I didn't mean- No, no, I only went to college for 12 years to get my 
robotics PhD, but you're the weapon expert. You think you're so cool with your blue and yellow power you technology. You got to fight with your dad. You programmed that in, you First man's level takes place in the lean factory. Probably why these fish look so suspicious. It's not a true water level, so we shouldn't have to call that fish guy for help. All the marine life is just swimming around in dangerous chemicals. Seems fine. First man's whole thing is bombs and bubbles, and I'ma be honest, I don't really get it. Putting bombs and bubbles seems like too many extra steps. It does make for an interesting fight though. No, 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 no. We beat him and it's off to Freeze Man. This place is some of the best music in the entire series. It's got the perfect ice level vibe. It feels like freaking Christmas day when you load this baby up. That coupled with the goofy head bobbing polar bears just puts a big smile on my face. You also find the rush search item here, which is a really fun and cool and well-designed mechanic that I definitely won't complain about later. Am I glad he's frozen in there and we're out here and he's the sheriff and we're- Freeze Man is way past cool. He's got the school man gimmick where he won't move unless you do, except he taunts you the whole time. Oh, so you like Freeze and Spark Mandrill over and over, do ya? How do you like it? <sighs> now it's on to Junk Man's level. And maybe I was wrong. This game has a lot of bugs after all. <laughs> Coming to the cringe factory after Freeze Man is great because we can freeze the lava to reveal a secret path. Getting the last letter we need to unlock the super adapter. It lets you shoot off rocket punches and boost through the air for added height, letting you get through tricky platforming segments with ease. <gasps> There's also an elevator you can activate with Thunderbolt to get the rush jet, to get the rush jet, uh, to get the rush jet. What you gonna do with all that junk? Throw it at you. Oh. I mentioned Spark Mandrill earlier because much like X1, this game incorporates Spark Mandrill Syndrome into its boss fights. When a robot master is weak to a weapon, they are usually incredibly weak to it, stun locking them and disrupting their pattern, making the fight easy peasy. In the X series, having a boss killed like this kind of ruins the cool and intense vibe, but in Mega Man 7, I actually like it a lot. The idea of cartoony little Mega Man completely rolling this big bad robot master because he happened to figure out he's weak to electricity is a really fitting motif for the classic series. We beat him and cutscene. Dr. Light, what do you think of Bass? I've never tried it before, but you know what they say, Mega Man, everything's edible. Once. Whoop. What is this? That's a computer monitor. All right, listen here, wise guy. Dr. Wily's attacking the robot museum. This place gives me chills. Like, look over there, it's... Number 15, Heat Man. It's hard to say for sure whether or not this is the real Heat Man or a replica made for display, but the Archie comics would lead us to believe these are the real robot masters and that they are sent here once they reach their expiration date. Such a chilling thought that when Gutsman explains he would like to be put into the museum after his expiration, Mega Man responds by saying what? Speaking of Gutsman, <gasps> stop it Wily, that ass belongs in a museum. Don't worry, I'll trade you one dump truck for another. I'm Clown Man. Disclaimer, this is not actually Clown Man. So no head? And then we got four more idiots to fight. Turbo Man turns himself into a convertible. Let's go! This Joe is tractor certified! After that mini boss, we've gotta go sniffing around for a power up. I hate, hate, hate the rush search mechanic in this game. There's almost no indication that anything is here, and if you're off by even a few pixels, you'll miss it. Some places are a little more obvious than others, but without the help of the all knowing chat, I never would have been able to find these. I guess the saving grace is once you find Otto's hyperbole and screw it back in, oh, you can buy these extra power-ups with screws. I want to spend them on e. tanks. This stage also has another meeting with your totally sane brother. Okay, now hear me out this time. I'm not burning down a forest. You don't have to burn down the whole forest, just like one very old tree. And then you'll see this super cool secret ladder. You love secrets. I don't know. You'll thank me later. He always says that. We run past some rebranded quick man lasers and fight this mother trucker and then it's time to fight turbo man huh ka-chow 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 ka doc it's ka doing the thing again hmm and you're saying this happens all the time and you're not in control of it i'd have to be pretty low on material to make a cars reference in 2023 good point well that settles it you've got a virus a virus that sounds bad that's like the whole plot of Mega Man 10. Well, as far as I can tell, it's not dangerous. Just funny. Well, 
Sometimes. But just to be safe, I'll get to work on updating your antivirus. Oh shit! Are you gonna turn me into a net navvy? Don't be silly. That would be way too much work. Lazy bastard. That's fine. I don't want to be a super cool net navvy anyway. Triple Man's fight isn't too bad as long as you don't get hit by a burning wheel, which stunlocks you and eats a third of your health. Crazy! We kill Turbo McQueen and it's off to Wolverine. Slash Man stage takes place in Jurassic Park. What are those? 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 Okay, here's the tree Proto Man told me to burn down. I feel bad, but it's to save the world. Phew, that wasn't so bad. Wait. No, it's spreading! Oh no, oh god, oh! I'm sorry, Mr. Snake! I'm sorry, Mr. Frog! No, not the bees! You get... Beast. I'm a monster! Slash Man is a lot like Pluto, but with more jelly. It's gonna be very hard to dodge his attacks with all this goop around, but with his weakness, he's super easy. Now it's time for the goofiest level in the series. So far. Spring Man's trampoline park is absolute chaos, especially this big room with tons of secrets and collectibles. And Spring Man himself is pretty easy once you learn his pattern and cut him up. Last but not least, it's on to Shade Man. Did you know there's a super cool secret when you select Shade Man's level? If you select the level by pressing the A button, you get to listen to Shade Man's theme during the level. Like and subscribe for more super cool secret showcases like this. No, I'm just kidding. It would be sacrilege to play this level without listening to the secret Ghosts and Goblins track during. This is my favorite level in the game. I'm a sucker for anything Halloween themed, and this game has zombies and crows and Nightman. And depending on how you beat this pumpkin mini boss, you can open the path to find your brother one last time. Hey again, so did you- Whoa, what the heck was that for? The blood of all those robot animals is on your hands, Proto Man. Haha, <laughs> that's right. I tricked you so that you would get angry. Now you can show me your true power. Let's fight just like old times make- Ah, ow, okay, sorry, jeez. How can I make it up to you? Give me your shield. What? Your shield! No, man, I love my shield. You can have it back after you help me replant all of those trees. Okay, fine. Freaking Mr. Beast wannabe. The Proto Shield is really neat in this game. It blocks pretty much everything as long as you're holding still. But it's time to forget to use it for the rest of the playthrough. And now it's time for the ball. Huh? Darn, I was careless. Bass, are you okay? I told you my name is Bass. Are you choosing not to listen to me or are you just stupid? That's not important right now. You've got to get back to Dr. Light's lab so he can repair you. His address is 601 Monsteropolis Avenue. It's pronounced Avenue. You poor, poor damaged robot. Robot. Get to the lab quick. I'll handle this guy. I just... I just don't get how Wily could keep losing to him. Now we just have to fight Morbius. He's got a lot of cool attacks. My favorite is when he gives you the suck. But we bounce some springs off his shiny bald head and he's dead. Dr. Light, are you sniffing the ground again? No, Mega Man. I am gravely injured because you gave that freaky fish guy our address. He stole the super adapter enhancements I was working on and he destroyed my gaming setup. Why would he do this? I'll tell you why. <gasps> Dr. Wily? That's right. That edgy robot works for me. I sent him in to gain your trust and then double cross you. Ha <laughs> ha, just like... Don't you say it. Oh, this is just like Among Us. Just like Among Us, that's right. God damn it. I'll get you for this, Wily. Off to Wily's castle. This first level is a platforming test where the lights turn off whenever you're touching the ground, which would be pretty hard, but the super adapter lets us get through no problem. Oh, phew. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, like I was saying, this part's pretty easy. Oh, phew. Thanks, B. Something's fishy about this room. Mega Man, it's time to settle this. Bass, why are you working with Dr. Wily? Well, first it was because he programmed me to. That's fair. But now it's because I hate you. Take this. Ha, nice try, Magikarp. Eat Thunderbolt. God, you win this round, but I'll be back. Yeah, get out of here, you mini boss. Now it's on to the actual ball. <gasps> Guts Man, what did he do to you? Guts Man, snap out of it. God. You dummy fuck bastard! Just when we thought Dr. Wily couldn't be any more diabolical, he made modifications to Gutsman after stealing him, upgrading his weapons, but downgrading his ass! Pure evil! Unfortunately, we have to put Gutsman out of his misery. I'm sorry, Gutsman! I'm so sorry! <laughs> huh? Aw, oh, don't cry, Mega Buddy. But. I don't want to lose you. Well, all things must come to an end, and I'm going to a better place.
Mega Man Powered Up on the PSP, where everyone can stare at my cheeks in all of their dummy thick 3D glory. <laughs> okay, Guts Man. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> it's not goodbye, Mega Man. It's see you later. Dinner. Dr. Wily, you'll pay. You'll pay for this, I swear. Wily Stage 2 is turtle themed. Uh, this isn't a joke. Everything's green and there's just like turtles on the walls everywhere. So fittingly, the boss is uh, bass again. That's right. And since I've stolen your super adapter enhancements, you're in trouble now. <laughs> I think it's pronounced trouble. You, uh, you don't, I was making a pun. Uh, I'm going to kill you. This is one of the coolest design battles in the whole classic series. You're kind of expected to use the super adapter so you and super bass can fly around all over the place shooting each other with rocket punches. But in practice, the tracking on your fist kind of trivializes the fight. Gah! It's over, Bass! No! Run it back! Sure, I- Versus mode, no items, final destination! Wait, what? Yeah, Mega Man 7 has a secret two-player versus mode. You can play as Mega Man or Bass, and you blast each other until someone dies. Both characters have their own set of special moves, and you can even freaking spot dodge. The tech in this fighting game is insane. The competitive scene for Mega Man 7 versus mode hasn't really taken off yet, but I've heard rumors it might be at EVO next year, so get grinding! And if you need help deciding which character to main, here's a tier list. Mega Man is S tier because he can slide under shots. He's broken. The balance in this game is atrocious. Damn it, you only beat me because you were player one. Stupid port priority. Are you sure your name is Bass? Because you're kind of sounding like a John right now. Neither of those are my name. Ah, you'll pay for this, Mega Man. Maybe not in this game or the next game, but oh ho ho, the game after that. You'll pay. What the heck did he mean by that? And it's back to the turtle level. And yeah, the boss is a turtle. His name is Gamerizer, a gamer turtle based on that other kaiju franchise, Gamera, Izer. And after beating him, we move on to the third level with a scary Oni boss. Fun fact, the text on him translates to certain killing. Good. It's time for the boss rematch section. Now, like I said before, the weaknesses in this game make this section really easy, but there's also a few anti-weaknesses in the game that you can check out for laughs. Like you can supercharge Springman and Turbo Man with Thunderbolt causing them to go absolutely sicko mode. Super Adapter accidentally grabs bombs from Burst Man and hitting Freeze Man with his own Freeze Cracker heals him as he strikes a pose. We beat them all and it's off to Dr. Wily. And who boy, this is widely considered to be the hardest Wily fight in the entire classic series. The first phase isn't too bad, you just gotta learn to slide under his chinny chin chin. But his second phase is where all hell breaks loose. This elemental attack comes out super fast and the tracking on it makes it very tricky to dodge. And if you get hit by the fire or ice ball, you lose a ton of health. Apparently Capcom did this on purpose. They wanted to make the boss so hard it would be impossible to defeat without an E-Tank. Well, I must be god awful at video games because it took me four of them and an S tank, but we managed to do it, yippee! Ah, blast you, Mega Man! You foiled my plans again! Whoa, what, Jesus, what the heck are you doing? I've had it! You destroyed the city again, you made that sussy imposter robot, and you made me kill Guts Man! I gonna do what I should have done years ago! Wait, 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 come on, a robot like you can't harm humans, right? I am more than a robot! Die, Wily! Ah. Okay, yeah, this scene isn't canon. I'm not sure why the English localization team felt the need to add this line, but he just doesn't say it in the original. Either way, the castle crumbles apart, Bass comes to save Wily. Hey, Bass! Shut up! And Mega Man walks away from the castle as it freaking explodes. That's pretty metal. Maybe the line about killing Wily does fit. And just like that, we beat Mega Man 7! In conclusion, this game takes all the features that make a good classic Mega Man game and amplifies them into an amazing time. Awesome expansive stages, cool and fun new characters, and tons of secret collectibles and interactions to play around with. And the fact it was made in three months makes all of that even more impressive. I'm not sure how they did it, but they somehow channeled that time crunch adrenaline into what is my opinion the most classic-y classic Mega Man game. Of course, I'm not saying game companies should rush their developers because it usually doesn't turn out that way. But in this case, it just happened to be a good thing for the game. Probably not for the dev team. I mean, they had like 15 people crammed in a single room working on it non-stop. Well, at least the game turned out good. 
Let's go. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do the YouTube thing. Like the video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And I want to give a special thanks to my Mega Chads for their extra support of the channel. You can become a Mega Chad today by clicking the join button. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time, everybody.